Right, hello everybody. I'm joined by the Artemis Black here, and we are with the draw for the Champs Champions Cup Season 23 has just been made, and we are going to go through every team and every match, and you know, give you the lowdown. So uh, as you can see, the Flip Me guys are drawn in first position, which means I'll be at home every single game if I, if I win the tournament, and I've been drawn first against Andres Undead. So, hello Artemis. Hello. And sorry, because you've got the schedule on, I was just looking down and being upset. All right. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> we'll get to that no, not soon. About, not about my first round match. Right. <laughs> about, about the fact that I'm also in your bracket. Ah, well. And uh, as spoiler alert, so is Crucifer. Oh, dear. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> spoilers, no spoilers. So you go, what do you think of this high elf high elf team then are? You can you can do this one. <laughs> it's a very good high elf team. Uh, however, a very good high elf team is usually slightly worse than a very good wood elf team. So that's just what it is. Yeah. Uh, it is pretty good. Uh, add five on the catcher with a skill up to gum as well. That's nice. Uh, at strength four lino, always good. Uh, we've got another lino. I'm assuming it's either going to be dodge or wrestle because that's all high elves take. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably. Um, uh, movement 9 catcher makes a very good one-turn threat. Better than having to do the move 8. Yep. And yep. Uh, you've rolled Mighty Blow. So you've got one Mighty Blow to blitz with. Woohoo! Yeah, one Mighty Blow with tackle. It, obviously, I would like it to have been better. I didn't play many games. And then by the time I pl started playing them again, it was late in the season. So... I wasn't going to play a million games. Like you know, if I was going to play forty more games, or twenty, or sorry, not forty, twenty more games, then I think I probably would have played twenty. But I was running out of time to play that many more, so I thought like you know somebody could die and it would be yeah. a bit shit. So I no, just that's thought, fine. and it, it, it's a it's a very solid high elf team for its TV. It's not there's not a lot of TV wasted. It's all it's all pretty good. There's not a lot of bloat. No strength up maybe, but a strength four I know is pretty decent. Yeah, like you can you can tag corners with it and stuff. It's nice. Yeah, and sack people. Uh, it hasn't got a very lot of sack. It hasn't got a lot of sacking potential. No, no, like, that's, no the thing, that's the thing. That's the thing that it's missing. Someone just asked what it's missing, and that's the thing that it's missing: a ball sacker. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and oh, let's see. Let's see what the record on it is. Seventeen two and, three. Uh, not terrible. But but in this case, this draw, you're going to be ball sacking ghouls. So mighty blow tackle is probably enough. Yeah. Yeah, and it's Andre with seventeen forty undead. So. He'll, Right, you were 1880 wizard. once you've taken the skills. Yeah, so you'll probably get a wizard. That's so it's, it's undead with a wizard. Hmm. Uh, Andre's team is weird. Uh, all of the T is in the top. The ghouls are just very basic. Oh, yeah. And all of his TV is in the, the killers and the two strength six mummies. Yeah, wow. Strength six mummies are kind of cool. But of course, can just duple us away from them. The two tackle yeah, bomb uh, whites so. are. Terrifying. I might even go dirty player on that line, or <laughs> two rackle zombies. Oh wow, yeah. <laughs> Four tackle. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, yeah. The mummies aren't so scary, but four tackle is is annoying. Dirty player. Two tackle pommers. But yeah, the ghouls are very light, so might be able to remove the ghouls and stuff. Get an advantage. Yeah, one, there. Of, one of them's a rookie. Three blodge, one guard, and he's only got guard on the mummies, and so the ghoul is the only movable guard as well. Yeah, yeah, interesting. So, but the wizard's going to be an annoyance. Yes. Because yes. ghouls can steal the ball with the wizard. Yeah. Yeah, it could have been worse. It isn't that bad. Yeah. yeah. Not that bad a team. Not that bad a matchup for me. Um, uh, the rematch against Andre is also fun. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He'll but... be... Uh, you will be looking to repay the debt. <laughs> Hopefully, we get exactly the same, uh, exactly the same uh, result in terms of dice. <laughs> so, who's your favourite for that one then? Uh, I think you. Oh, thanks. I think that's a good matchup. Um, I don't think there's much between the coaches, and I think uh, your team has the edge on undead, especially that undead. Glorious. I agree. I think I'll the next two, um, Necro team is Max one one five, and then my Red Valentine is Wayne Ferrer. Oh right, all right. Let's have a look then. 
There's a lot of four CCLs in here, isn't there? With all the there are, yes. Yaks ass. Yeah, Yaks ass has expanded mightily. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Right, Max one one five is Necro team. He's got an Adjup Wolf with nothing else, a Blodge Wolf with nothing else, a Pom White, a Guard, some shit. This seems a terrible team. I wish I'd got this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you might get this. <laughs> it depends on whether it gets past Wayne Ferrer. Um, wow. Yeah, it's very wide and not tall. Like, it's got a shitload of skills on zombies. Yeah. It's got eight, eight skill ups on zombies somehow. Yeah, I don't like that at all. No, I think the way Andre's team is built with all of him, all of his players and the all of his skills in the top four players is much better than all of the skills on the zombies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking mad. <laughs> like eight skills on zombies is mad. Yeah, but his record's incredible. Sixteen four one. So, yeah, um, he had a great, great record run, a great late run as well. Yeah, incredible. incredible. Uh, his ghoul is uh, just got shoe hands, not even block. Yeah, he's got a rookie white. I mean. His werewolves don't have mighty blow, and one doesn't even have block. He's taking the edge up on it. Yeah, this is a hideous, hideous team. So um, <laughs> I'm sure Wayne Farrell will be quite happy about facing it, even even if he must be a great coach to have such a good record with it. Oh, but then Wayne Farrell is 1480. <laughs> yeah, Wayne Farrell got banged on last season. Ouch. Sneaked, sneaked in last minute, like literally in the last 24 hours, I think. Uh, to pass Buford T Justice's humans. Ah yes, yeah. Only uh, eleven. But it's a it's a reasonable team. It doesn't have an auger. Oh yeah. It doesn't mean he can't buy one. Yeah. I don't know if he meant to have one and he died or something. I didn't keep track of uh, Wayne Ferrer's team. Yeah. But he has enough money. He could buy one if he wanted to. He could just would... juice one for the next game. <laughs> uh, wait. Yeah. Hang on. He's fourteen eighty, and. Max was forgotten already. 1660 or something like that. 1620. 1620. So 140 plus his money. Yeah, so he, he could just, I mean, he could go wizard or he could induce an ogre or he could just buy an ogre, couldn't he? They're all options. Um, But yeah, I, mean, I quite like his team. Jump up tackle pommer, that's really good, isn't it? And then five guard yeah. is really good. I mean, it's good for a 1480 team. Yeah, it's incredible. It's an incredible 1480 team. It's probably better than that 1660 team, apart from only having 11 players. That's the only real bad thing. So actually, he might just want to buy two reserves or something. Uh, but then, I guess, if he gets the ogre, he's up to 12 anyway, isn't he? So Yeah, yeah. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, the no bench is a killer for him, I think, in that game. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't hate it if he bought an ogre. Yeah. It's pretty good for the playoffs. Yeah. Although saying that, like if you beat Andre and Wayne, he, he the ogre isn't great against you. Yeah, so it's just kind of there. <laughs> yeah. Like a shit mummy. Yeah. And if, and if Andre wins, he's he's just kind of there getting pummeled by mummies every time. <laughs> my, my strength sticks, mummies getting yeah. wrecked. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we might not buy the mummy. <laughs> he might not buy the ogre even. <laughs> wow. So the next team up is Boscovich, Balsha, as he used to be known. Oh, well, who, who do you think will win, first of all? Who do you think will win? Oh, um, I do think Wayne Ferrer will win that. Okie dokie. Um, oh. So I, I, therefore, that top thing, I've got Wayne Ferrer versus you in the next match. Glorious. Um, <laughs> yeah. Next up is Balsha, definitely. Yep. And then I'm assuming the Flings Gambit is Gdanix Flings. You would you would imagine so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a Balsha first. <laughs> Boscovich. His wolves are not strength four. He did have a strength four wolf, didn't he? Uh, maybe that was last season. Yes, he did. I can't find his team. <laughs> oh, he's the first or second I page. I hate having to try and find it? people's teams. And I don't know where the fuck they are. <laughs> um, he's got very nice fleshies. And all right. Yes, he does. All right. Unspectacular wolves, but they're still good. Um, but yeah, jump up tackle pom. White's really good. The other white's good. The ghoul's good. Linos are fine. O only 12 players. But uh, that's a... You know, you can obviously buy more if he wants, can't you? That's that's really nice. Yeah, it's not it's not so bad on regen team to only have 12 players, I don't think. He's got the he's got the zombie, though, and they, they still get players removed, don't they, and stuff. So, uh, the zombie, the dirty player, he's got the dirty... He wants to be able to foul yeah. with a dirty player and that, doesn't he? Uh, he might buy an extra zombie. Yeah, I think he um, He's got a second ghoul. 
I just noticed. That's not a zombie hidden down there. Yeah, yeah. Cheeky uh, ghoul. Which is uh which is pretty nice. And so yeah, an extra zombie wouldn't come wouldn't go amiss with it go for the line. Yeah. Yeah, no, I like it. I like it. Three obviously, line zombies. obviously you would like a strength four wolf or a add four wolf or a movement wolf or a mighty or a blow. Mighty blow wolf. wolf. But they're fine, aren't they? With bludge and bludge step and tackle, they're absolutely fine wolves. Yeah, they're okay. I mean, you do miss claw at high TV with necro, but I mean, you can live with just regular palm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's that's pretty. And good. I mean, the the big thing is that he only has that one killer because he's going to be playing flings. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so um, <laughs> more tackle mighty blow would have been nice, but. Uh, yeah. That one killer is going to have to remove like a fling a turn. Yeah, it's quite TV efficient though. Quite a good team and quite TV efficient. So he's 1800. And let's see what stupidly low number Gedanik is. 1010. Ah, uh, he's got a skill up. Well, he's got two skill ups. So 1050. But then and no, 40 ben off. no bench. So that's, he's going to buy some flings instantly, I would think. Yep. And he's got 40 TV and money as well, so. So there's one fling in, and then maybe you won't buy uh, multiple flings because he's going to probably take two star players as well. Yeah. He's probably going to take Deep Root and Zara, and a wizard, and a and a, and a chef, yeah. <laughs> whatever the fuck else. Oh no, he's it's not his um it's not his stadium. No, oh, yes. He's not home, which means Deep Root and Zara is too expensive. He can probably only take one. Yeah. And he's got two tree, two block trees. That's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, two block guard grab trees. Yeah, that's really good. And yeah, three. But nothing block else. Trees. No edge fling. No movement fling. No catch fling. No nothing on the flings. Just yeah. two good trees and a bunch of shit flings. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it might be enough. <laughs> Could spring a surprise, couldn't he? If he rolls, if he rolls well. <laughs> G'day, Nick. One of the, I think, I don't know if he moved in. I think he's one of the top 10 players on Cladder now. Is he? After playing fucking flings for a season. <laughs> yeah, he did all things, things to move flings, you up. And then, look, there's Crucifer. Oh, dear, yes. In that I'll top watch. quarter of the bracket. You enjoy the fuck out of that, son. Yeah. Brutal. Brutal. <laughs> I'll watch versus... And he's playing Orc Imedes. I don't know which Orc team that is. I don't know if it's Ravidius or Large Thud. Right. We'll have to find out. Well, whoever it is, they're up shit creek. Yes, they're wrecked. <laughs> because he has only got one claw, to be fair. Um, but it is claw palm. And he does have seven guard, six stand firm. No, five stand firm, I lied. Um, bludge, bull, yeah, two, two tackle two bulls. Two amazing bulls. A vampire hobgoblin and a dirty player and a bench. Yeah. It's an incredible team. Absolutely. He's even got 30k bloat on that. He's, out, he's only 1940, so he might be yeah. like 14th or whatever. That is an incredible team. Really incredible. Love it. I love it. Yeah, even even the, the injuries carrying means is meaningless. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Got the best perm <laughs> fucking chorf can get. <laughs> yeah, really good chorf team. Uh, and Archimedes is Ravidius on page Ravidius. two. Sorry, Ravidius. You've got that. Wow, well, he's got quite a good team. Yeah, both of the Orc teams are good, but the Ravidius has actually got the smaller Orc team. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? as four, four Linos with Block Guard. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. That's so he's, crazy. Yeah, he's got a really good team, and, it, and he would be 1,800 if he wasn't for missing that Blitzer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which he, he, I don't know how much he'll miss it in this match, but he'll, it's better than not having him. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's only 11 players at the moment, isn't it? He'll want, yeah. he'll want maybe he's like a, maybe he's a merc troll and a wizard. Yeah, a troll with guard, maybe. Yeah. Have another guard in there. Yeah, maybe. That would give him one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine guard. Yeah. And he's got a strength four, strength four tackle palm. Some mighty blow, you know. <laughs> he's got more strength and he's got some guard, so he's in if with he a gets shot. A, if, if he gets a troll with fine. guard as a merc, he'll have more strength, more guard, um, and the, he's down to Crucifer relying on the claw palmer. Then, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much always how it is against orcs. I think with chaos or anybody, 
if you if you claw on fires, they've no, got no chance. If it doesn't, they they've got usually a better team than you. Right. Mm -hmm. Who's next? I oh, still I think, think Christopher uh, will win I, I still I think Christopher will will win that. Yeah. And I think Boscovich will win the previous one. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Gdanik. You're just you're flings, mate. I can't. Yeah. I want you to win, just to be clear. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Max. <laughs> always, always pull for the stunties. Um, but I think Boscovich will win, and then uh, that makes Crucifer versus Boscovich in the next round. Yeah. Which I think Crucifer will win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think I think you versus Crucifer in the quarterfinal. Yeah. Yay. And Crucifer will win. <laughs> there you go. Whatever's left of your team by then. Yeah. Right, here we've got boring core asses. Have Indeed. they got the dream match up here? Gob's gonna I've rule. Goblin. No, right. I literally on stream this morning was explaining that goblins are my kryptonite team. I have the worst record when you do breakup. I have the worst <laughs> record of all records against goblins. <laughs> I don't suck. know why. It just and even I even lost to goblins in the clan league. With dwarves. Wow. 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 We should do it in order. Let's let's do it in order. Let's have a look at Animus Black's team. Nineteen yeah. four. And it's funny as well because I said this team isn't that good because it's it's lacking it's lacking claw pom tackle, isn't it? And there is a claw pom there with tackle block and tackle, and there's a claw pom there without even block, and there is a tackle mighty blow, but there's only there's only one claw pom tackle. Um, yes. Now obviously against goblins the claw doesn't really matter and the block will be good and the claws will be good for getting rid of the trolls. Um But you know, yeah, if if the if the goblins roll well and they remove a few they're you know, beastmen are only armor eight, aren't they? It could go yeah, south. If the goblins win if the goblins win the toss, they could smash me in the first turn. Yeah. If the goblins don't win the toss, they're fucked. Yeah, I mean there's there's still a lot of dice roll, you know. You know, you could just quad skull and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you could quad score. As about wishing badly on me and just insulting the goblin guy. You could quad score. You could, you could win if your opponent quad skulls on turn one. You could quad score on turn one and turn two and turn three, and then he's got half a chance. <laughs> uh, no, but the, the lack of tackle is, is a concern. Is, uh, is super big peen. Have a look what he's got. Super big peen. Yeah, mighty, yeah, dirty player, sneaky git. Yeah, it's, that's hideous. So, I brought um, a sneaky git to the playoffs with me. Oh dear, so yeah. But <laughs> I mean, to be fair, there is a there is a real lack of tackle here. Um, so it could be a little bit yes. tricky. It's a lack of tackle and a lack of guard. Yeah. Um, so against teams that I need bo both of those things, I'm going to struggle. But uh, there wasn't anything I could really swap out for that. My ball carrier doesn't have block. Yeah, because um, I took Adge, yeah. and as you said, the Beastman with Claw Palm doesn't have block either. Yeah. So, it, I, I mean, I could have kept playing, but it seemed ludicrous. So I'll live with this and see how it goes. Yeah. The the star player is actually Dumb Pubble at the top. Uh, he has his own theme tune and everything, so we'll <laughs> hear that in the playoffs. <laughs> um, and then Kian Dare is in with Goblins, and he's got a block mighty blow fanatic. Which is pretty good. Yes. Uh, yeah, I saw him play on stream against someone. Yeah. And a block troll. So, yeah, he's, he's got three mighty blows of his own. Plus, he's got the, the inducements of, like, you know, whatever he gets. Uh, 800 or so? Yeah. So, he can definitely get, like, Ripper and something else. Yep. So he's going to be... have at least four mighty blow. Yeah. So, like I said, if he wins the toss and has a good first turn, he could fuck me. Yeah. Could, because it's so play. many, uh, because there's so much inducements anyway, I might just buy uh, Spare Beast Man. Yeah, yeah. Never a bad idea having reserves. Just chuck another beast, another shitter to go on the line and die if he wins the toss. <laughs> yeah. But it's um, obviously goblins are a bit shit and it's going to be very, very tricky yeah, for Yeah, don't him. get me wrong. Like, <laughs> even though they're my kryptonite team, if someone said, Do you want goblins for the playoffs? I'd still be, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely incredible draw. But could could be a little bit tricky, but yes, obviously huge, huge favourite there. Hundred percent. 
Yeah, I got, I'm gonna have to pick me, even though it's me. Yeah. Just because, just because I would be a dick if I tried to claim that that was a fair matchup. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then we've got Praiser of Sun 23 for CCO, which is Cybernite. Oh, that is surely Brett. Yeah, 100 percent going to be Cybernite. Yep. And then the Royal Eatman. This could be all. That might be we... Thud Zorks. Oh right. Okay. Let's have a look then. Praiser of Sun. Where are they? Cyber Knight, 1940 Burtz. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's beat up Burtz, so. though. Oh, wow. Wow. He's both, he's got a bunch of good stuff and a bunch of bad stuff on the same team. Yeah, he's, he's claw immune. <laughs> <laughs> three armor busts. <laughs> three strength ups, but three armor busts. Yeah. Yeah, and some guard. Oh, you know, nice blitzers. All of his blitzers are pretty good, aren't they? All over 50. And one's over 75 as well. Um, yeah, it's solid. It's solid, but... Um, it's still... Yes, right. I mean, I'm sure Cyber would have preferred a better team. Uh, probably one of the other seven he played last season. But this is the one that qualified, so it's what he gets. Yeah, it's, it's Brett's, isn't it? <laughs> he didn't get a choice either. He didn't get a choice because Crystal Hunter was playing... Uh, Burtz, so was second Burtz. Uh, so Chris, <laughs> Cyber Knight couldn't take like third, fourth, or fifth Burtz, as he usually is all of them. Yeah. Yeah, it's Bretts. I mean, it's high TV Bretts, it's strength up Bretts, but it's Bretts, isn't it's it? Still, so, it's still Bretts. It's, it's Bretz. still a bunch of armor set. He's got, he's got extra three peasants. <laughs> it's and yeah, I'm pretty certain if we have a look, I'm pretty certain he's playing Thuds. It is Thuds. Yeah. Thud's ridiculous high TV orcs. Yep. Yep, this looks this looks nasty. Um, yep. Yeah. Vampire Blitzer ball carrier. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? And a block troll. Yeah. Yeah. A bunch, bunch of, of mighty blow. He's got a goblin. He's got a cheeky goblin at the bottom. Only two rerolls though. Yeah. Oh, but that nan nineteen twenty is carrying a fuckload of money. Yeah, 80. So you could get a third reroll if you want. You should buy, I think, uh, if Thud's out there, you should buy the third reroll for the playoffs, definitely. Yeah, I concur. I concur. Yeah, I think he's... Tackle, Pom, Jugs, Jump Up. I mean, he's, he is light on the murder, to be fair. For a for a orc team, this is light on the murder, you know. It's killer having juggernaut is great though for this matchup. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's just made for this matchup. Oh, that's the that's the dream you want when you pick juggernaut. It's like, please <laughs> run into Bert so I can wreck him. <laughs> but yeah, it's really light, isn't it? I mean, you know, you could you could easily have like six mighty blow on an orc team. So the fact yeah, that he's yeah, only he's, got he's four. guard heavy. Um, and murder light, and uh, his TV is up so much because of this crazy 240k blitzer ball carrier. Yeah, yeah, who is really good to be fair. He's amazing, but 240k carrying the ball yeah. uh, is why he's not not got a lot of like TV for the fight. Yes, yeah. So, so he, he might be able to. He might uh, Crucif uh, not Crucifer Cyber Knight might be able to upset him, but I think I think he should win there. The Royal Eatman. Yeah, uh, it's going to be down. Yeah, Cyber Knight's going to have to pull out a a minor miracle to not get murdered. Yep. And then similarly, <laughs> a large thud will have to uh, will have to pull out <laughs> an absolute dicing for him to not get murdered by Claw <laughs> in the next round. But thud is is, is, a, is a regular in chat and said the only team he didn't want was mine. Yep, and he'll be getting it probably. <laughs> Enjoy this draw, bud. Yeah, probably be getting. To be fair, you could round. get goblins. Like I could completely throw it. Yeah, and he could just lose. I mean, Cyber Knight has got a lot bunch of strength on the team, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's definitely next, not guaranteed to win. The fucking next match. <laughs> that that is vampires versus ogres. Oh wow, brogers! Yeah, Denver brogers. La Lost Boys. Oh wow, this is fantastic. The, and wait till you see the vampires. It's high TV vampires. Oh dear. Good time, 1860. Wow, strength 5, strength 5, movement 7, edge 5. No tackle, no pro. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I'm pretty certain my, 
my uh, my client just crashed. Oh. I'll be back in a sec. No. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going anyway. I meant for people watching. Uh, the, the screen will be back in a sec. <laughs> wow, this is. Uh, while I'm while I'm uh, waiting to reboot, I will I will tell the little story that uh, I don't know if you know about. Uh, the night before the end of the playoffs, Rick Reckless did an all night stream <laughs> and went eight zero and one with vampires <laughs> uh, to be in qualifying position. Wow. And with less than 30 minutes to go, good time, logged in, got a game, was losing to Orcs, and then the Orcs conceded. Wow. <laughs> for, for, for reasons that we don't know. Wow. So the nicest guy in Blood Bowl was Rob. <laughs> wow. So yeah, so Rick, it was literally, like we checked, we were online. Um, for the new season because we were all streaming for it and we were checking the chat to see if good time was there he wasn't there with 30 minutes to go so we thought we were safe he, so he logged on at some point in the last 30 minutes got a match in and the orcs not only were winning they were one nil up they he conceded instantly after getting a fourth kaz wow <laughs> bizarre like, absolutely bizarre wow that's brutal isn't it Poor, poor old Rick. So, and I'm just logging in, but I'll also tell a story that I, while we found this out, it was because we were, um, I was playing and I was playing a cheat. Wow. I, I ran into someone in CCL who had farmed his team. Wow. Against a friend or whatever. Uh, one game in, his Chaos team had three Chaos Warriors with block, um, a, a goat with sure hands. And five other players with SPP. Wow. And he had beaten Augers 4 0, got 12 Kaz. And uh, when you looked at his match, only Noblars took the pitch. The Augers stayed in the reserves box. Oh, okay then. I was going to say, beating, were... beating Augers 4 0 is, isn't that ridiculous. Uh, no, um... Noblars were purposefully not using dodge when they were hit. And uh, if they were getting pushes, they were sidestepping so that they would get hit again. Oh, and he dear. lined up all 11 uh, Noblars on the LOS. No, oh, dear. There was, a, there was a game, you know, in the World Cup qualifiers, the first World Cup qualifiers, and the team that qualified, the Dwarf team that qualified from the World Cup qualifiers won its first game 6-0. Now, I don't <laughs> think it's possible to beat anybody 6-0 with, with, with rookie Dwarves without collusion. <laughs> <laughs> That does that seems insane, yeah. <laughs> and pretty qualified for the World Cup, so there you go. Probably won some money. <laughs> That's fair, isn't it? Sounds good. <laughs> uh yeah, we told um we told uh Yak, because the guy that was clearly farming is also in Yak's ass. Oh shit. Yeah. So Sergal and this guy. Yeah, <laughs> Yak's ass. Oh dear. Has some dodginess in it. You want to get yeah. some ointment up there, Yak? I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? It makes sense that people are going to do that. Are going to do that, aren't they? Unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, right, I'm back and I have the vampires up. Glorious. Yeah, I think they're a bit crap. I mean, I think the uh, I think the stats are really good, obviously, and Bludge is good, but I, I hate no tackle at all on the team. I, I think they're really going to struggle. Really going to struggle. Yeah, no tackle... As you said, no pro on any of the vampires because they've taken the stats. Yeah. Um, so they've got crazy good stats. But, I mean, and they have got... That is a money bloat as well. So they're not actually 1860. They're uh, 1790. Yeah. And then they could lose a player and be 1750 at least. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, they're, they're, they're all one skill away from just being amazing. <laughs> I think good time should have should have carried on playing before you know 100% he should have been playing more because if he could have done you know because if he, if he gets a level on every one of these players it becomes amazing yes if, if all six of those vamps got an extra level it would be a crazy team yeah because you'd have crazy. six blodge vampires <laughs> yeah yeah and tackle and, and everything yeah it'd be amazing yeah I, I don't think you should allow Sergal in, in the ass to be honest yeah I think you should not let him in but um, there you go you should definitely not let the guy farming fucking teams in. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think both of those should be kicked out, to be honest. 
Right, anyway, let's look at the Brogas. Where are the Brogas? Find the, find the Denver Brogas. Where are they? I love Brogas. I love that it's called Brogas as well. Loving it. Yeah, it's for the first, it's not Anraka. It's Beach Bay. I can't find Here we are. Yeah, Beach, uh, if Bay. Beach Bay, I don't even know if he knew he was qualifying. Uh, <laughs> because uh, if, if you don't follow this kind of stuff, Cyber Knight was top Ogres. But obviously he was going to take Brett's. Ah, yes. so, but he has uh, he's, he's got startups on Augers. <laughs> oh god, two of them with plus hatch. <laughs> and one with, one of them with plus move. Yeah. His armor busted. So. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well you know even though he's up against vampires. <laughs> yeah. He's without still Augers. He's he's Augers and this is not exciting. Wow. No. It's, he's still only got two rerolls. Um, he's got nothing on the Noblars. He hasn't even got like a Super Noblar. Yeah. Uh, he's missing an Augur. So he's a five Augur build. Yeah. yeah and uh, one of them's, a, two of them are rookies. It's, yeah, it's got nothing. Yeah. Yeah, that's, he's fucked. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Augurs have never got through the first round. And this is a shit Augur team. So. And no, they, they got through once against Dark Elves of all teams. Oh yeah, no, you're right. It was uh, yeah, sorry. And Rackers never go through the first round. The that that one guy who beat him that season yeah. got through the first round. Yeah, amazing, amazing. Um, right. So yeah, definitely hundred percent. The LA Lost Boys should win that. Yeah. And then we've got I, four CCL dwarves versus blue delves. I think that is Elliot versus the monkey man with the AV five. Ah. Which. I think that's Elliot, four CCL dwarves. You should know, being a dwarfer. <laughs> a dwarf's a thing. <laughs> you're a that sounds like a dwarf watcher. You're a dwarfer. <laughs> 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 Fucking dwarfer. <laughs> um, oh, God, his team looks awesome, doesn't it? Good yeah. God. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six mighty blow. Love it. Piling on as well, loads of guards, stand firm, a couple of adjups, brilliant. Spear runner. Yeah. Um, he's got, yeah, he's got adjup on the runner. I'm assuming that's just going to take block. I don't know why he hasn't taken it already. There's no way you take anything else on that, surely. Mind games, isn't it? Could be taking strength, could be taking adge, but yeah, probably going to take block. And then, uh, I, I oddly don't know what he gives that, that long beard. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. And kick. He could go kick. Um, I've taken on that before on a long beard with those kind of skills because there's not much else they can take. You know, they can take fend to kind of like you know stay alive. But another stand firm, I guess. He's already got three stand firms, so probably another stand firm. Yeah, you can you can deny a one turn then. Yeah, yeah. Probably make sure that one of the others doesn't get clipped. You can still put three on the line. Yeah, yeah. It's, Let's yeah. have a look what. Uh... So, I mean, it's not much to say about dwarves. Even I admit that. It's like they all look much of a muchness. Oh. Oh, look, they've got a shitload of guard and mighty blow. So you're saying they all look the same to you? <laughs> <laughs> um, blue delves, they're very blue. The blue delves are very blue. Wow. And I reckon he's got the higher TV, so he's got no chance. If he had a wizard, um, like... Like how uh, somebody had versus me. What was it? I can't remember his name anyway. Uh, the French guy uh, who beat me in Xbox. If you had a I'm Wizard not, Stadium, not. but without the Wizards, I think I really fancy Elliot just to murder his team. I mean, Elliot's the one with the inducements, hasn't he? Loads of inducements. 300 of inducements, and he's got the riot cancelling stadium. Yeah. Yeah, so big favourite, I think, here. Uh, Elliot, obviously we know how good he is and he's got a glorious looking team Absolutely. Yeah. Monkey Man's got a, got a really nice team but the, the movement ups are probably going to be a pain because he probably took them to go for a one turn and he's running to dwarves to stand for him yeah. I mean maybe you could just sack that witch elf and then then he's only 1890 and probably looks maybe. better although he does have that witch elf with juggernaut yeah that could. Uh, so he still could go for the one turn uh, not with movement eight. Really. He can only push twice, and he's movement eight. So, yeah. no, he can't. Yeah, with the quick snap, <laughs> quick snap, <Yeah. laughs> and the frenzy witch elf. 
Um, yeah, I mean it's a decent it's a decent enough um, dark elf team, but he's run into dwarves with three hundred inducements played by Elliot, so he's probably just straight fucked. Yeah, he's just gonna he's gonna get battered. And I mean, if he doesn't, obviously, you know, mighty blow doesn't necessarily mean removals and armor breaks and everything. So, you know, if he stays around and makes his two pluses, um, it's going to be tough, isn't it? But the the thing is, with it, he hasn't got the wizard, so I think he no. And and sure. one of the other Delph tactic of really liking to just like base a cage with blood step and stuff is suicidal against mass tackle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, yeah. So I, I'm going to give that well, Yod. Yep. Me too. And, and then I'm going to give the next match to Elliot as well. Yes, with his eyes closed. Because <laughs> he's playing either vampires or ogres. I mean, to be fair, the vampire's not having tackle. Ah, but his, his runner's got dodge, so that, 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 that you know, that's tricky. And they'll, they'll be more TV, so they wouldn't get a wizard or anything. So they're going to struggle to get the ball off him. But, I mean, they, they, could, they could, you know, vampires are the sort of team that could really punish dwarves um, if he had tackle to hit the runner with. But seeing as he doesn't... Oh, wait. You know, hang on. Let me say... I want to... Oh, bollocks. I've gone out of the thing again. I want to have a quick check of Elliot's team a sec. I'm pretty certain Elliot doesn't have Troll Slayers. Oh, yeah. I don't think he does. No, he doesn't. But he does have Dauntless on his one killer. But against all those strength up Adam vampires. Yeah. Troll Slayers. Troll Slayers would have been handy, Elliot. I hate people not taking Troll Slayers. <laughs> I love them. Uh... <laughs> and no one takes them. Everyone thinks they're like horrible because they're AV8, TV inefficient. Yep. It's so good. Yep. Well, they're, they're double edged sword, isn't it? Um, I don't TLA E94. I'm going to make them though. Right. So, I think, yeah, he goes through there and then he gets murdered by your claw, doesn't he? Your <laughs> Let's so hope so. Know. Let's hope that all comes true. Brainless kit. This is brilliant for you. Goblins, who are just shit, even though it's not a great <laughs> matchup for for kill chaos then if you're lucky it's orcs which are just into the meat grinder if you're unlucky cyber knight could definitely uh, do you because he's got a bunch of dodge and then almost certainly versus dwarves which you'll just murder and then and then the dream matchup against uh, artemis black versus crucifer and i think artemis black has got the all, advantage all the in that dream game. matchup of me versus you no no <laughs> I'll get battered by Christopher. Well, we should be going for this, right? Me versus you in the semis. Okay, then, yeah, that's what's going to happen, definitely. <laughs> just, we're, we're just making this up off the top of our heads. Fuck yeah. Yeah, all right. And a good I'll match definitely in the semis, win. Jim. And then I will definitely beat you in the semi final 3 0. 3 0 or riot. <laughs> you can take your two elves into the final with him. Yeah. <laughs> right, so. We've established that it's me or Artemis wins that, or Crucifer. <laughs> yes. So obviously, me, me or Jim are in the final already. Yeah. Not even any. Is there any need to even play those games? We'll just flip a coin between us, and that's who gets through to the final. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. I mean, it's about as fair as Blood Bowl as well, so that's pretty good. <laughs> Andre showed up. Sorry, Andre. <laughs> I did pick Jim as a winner over you because because uh, your, your ghouls are shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I could I could obviously easily lose against Andre. Your your run is much easier than mine if if it's if it's if it goes as expected, which is yeah. If the, if the orcs actually the orcs, I'm more worried about. I, even though you think I have a better time against the orcs, I'd be more worried about the orcs than uh, Cyber Knight. I'd rather play Cyber Knight. Yeah. Even with the dodge, just because uh, the orcs have got so much strength and guard, and I'm guard light. Yeah, fair enough. But um. Anyway, right. Let's have a look. Slovit two. Sl Slovit. Yeah, I've got no idea what that is, but that that's that's whoever gets uh, K Fool's ridiculous min max team. Right. Yes. So let's find out who Slovit Ditu is. Slovit Ditu. <laughs> no fucking idea. <laughs> it's Kislev. He's. Ah, oh, it's Captain Fight. <laughs> well, actually, that's that's not too bad because it's such a low TV that K Fool won't have a million TV in inducement. Yeah. But also, he hasn't got a better team than... The... Oh, God, no, never mind. I just opened his team. Yeah. Oh, trash. Well, there you go, okay, fool. Your shitty min-max thing has worked. He's got, got a great record, though. Look at, Look at that. Look at that. 12-4-0. Brilliant, that, I, isn't it? Uh, Fight is uh, like a Kislev specialist. He streams. Yeah. He was also like second and third Kislev or something. Yeah. <laughs> So he's got a great, great record, but a shit team, and yeah, yeah, no he's got tackle. no tackle, and his 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 block mighty blow is carrying a niggle. Yeah, that's 
that's trash. <laughs> Especially versus versus uh, versus Carefull's team, isn't it? Because at least he would have had like a wizard and stuff against some people. Yeah, but... that's the thing, isn't it? So actually, it's terrible because of the reason. <laughs> <laughs> I originally said the exact opposite of what it turns out to be. It's terrible because <laughs> he doesn't get a wizard. That's it. Yeah, yeah, no. Just Carefull's just team is already better, and Carefull's team is better, and Carefull gets inducements. <laughs> <laughs> Carefull's team is 350 TV lower <laughs> and somehow better than shitty Kislev. <laughs> and he's 29 4 3, unbelievable record. Um, so yeah, almost guaranteed win for Careful there. Probably yeah, probably one of the best matchups he could have got for sure. Tw- Twenty nine people upset that they started a new team and ran spun into Careful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, now this he's... Space Cadet is Careful's whole team. Space Cadet is confused by what he's looking at. Yeah, it's just it's just uh, Min Max Amazon's. He's been doing it for years in box. <laughs> now he's doing it in CCL. <laughs> yeah, yeah nice. but he'll get a wizard and Roxana against everyone, and then uh, other stuff against other people. Mhm. Yeah, that's it. That's careful for you. Um. Right. Snow versus Elven Union CCL. Well, I'm, g- <laughs> I'm guessing by the names that it- I know it's Skulls Norse. Um. Because two Norse teams qualified this season. Oh, dear. And uh, I don't know who the Elven Union uh, coaches have forgotten. But it's probably Skull, an Elven Union Skull team. Skull is definitely the first one. First page. Let's have a look. Oh, he's the Yeti-less Norse. No. Um, so he's even shitter than regular Norse. Yeah. The Berserks and he's are missing nice, his, He's missing his runner. He's decided to keep on, even though he's strength two. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so this yeah. this has two players and then a bunch of shitty Norse. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's shit. Good it's berserkers just, though. It's not even good for Norse. Good berserkers. <laughs> He's got good berserkers. <laughs> Alright. That's what we can say about that. He's thing. even taken guard first on the Ulf so that that doesn't have block. Excellent. Yeah. Elven Union. Oh god, the Elven Union team is absolutely crippled. <laughs> oh man, I haven't got to it yet. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Oh shit, I played this guy. Hang on. Did I wreck him? Have a look at his thing. Oh no, I played him this season. Uh, he's playing Elven Union again this season. I played him this season. Yeah. So I didn't play this team. All right. Uh, oh god, yeah. yeah. Fucking hell. And, you know, El Pro Elves are a pretty good match for, for Norse, aren't they? So, yeah, I reckon Norse should hammer him. Yeah, somehow uh, that Norse team's getting through the second round. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dream match for Carrying two him. niggles, no bench. He doesn't get anything in inducements because he's higher TV. Yeah. Jesus, fuck, that's terrible. And and then the winner gets murdered by... Uh... By Amazon's 9,000 TV oh, Amazon. I wanted K Fool to get Elyod and he's got the fucking dream draw. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, he should definitely win his first couple at least. He's got Kislev and the winner of Shitty Norse and Shitty Pro Al. <laughs> the dream draw. And you, me, and Crucifer all on the other side. <laughs> nowhere near him. Fuck <laughs> ah, off. Oh. Right. Um, oh, God, here we've got the confirmed cheat, which Yak has unfortunately let into the 4CCL. Um, uh, but good for us, he's got Velahopia's Nurgle. Good. So good. hopefully he just gets smashed into smithereens and we don't have to mention him again. Good. So quickly. Let's have the fastest look at his team ever. Yeah. He hasn't got, he's only got one block on his. Saurus, which is absolutely mental, and he's got one block in the entire team. Trash team, fifteen hundred, um, seventeen five one. Incredible record despite a trash team. <laughs> but there you go, that's his team, and hopefully it gets absolutely ruined by yep. the Lahopi as Nurgle team. 
Uh, yeah, hopefully Velahopia just twats him instantly and that's the end of him. Yep. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a pretty decement team from uh, for Velahopia. I like it. I like his rotter here with with strength four block claw and tail. <laughs> yeah. He was hoping for another double. Yeah, I would have gone tense though. I would have liked to seen tense on him to be honest. I don't really like the tail, but um, that's funny. I guess he can stack the tail and the tense on the same guy. <laughs> yeah, but, and uh, to those two pestigos have got um, skill ups. Yeah, so the, he, he probably should give that killer tackle, especially as he's playing against skinks. Yes, yes. Uh, or he could just give the other one tackle. I think, I think you could just uh, give him both double tackle. and give him jump up or something. Or just give him both tackle. Yeah, I think just both tackle, especially as he's in as he's as he's in the same half of the draw as uh, Kefool. <laughs> uh, strength tense four is all right, well, I hope you. Yeah. I mean, it it'll work like half the time against yeah. strength three. Yeah, I think it's better than tail. I, pr I prefer. Uh, I prefer. We haven't got the yours yet. Yak, no. If you're strength three, uh, you know, I think fair enough. But I think with strength four, I'd rather have tense than tails. Um, yeah. Or you could just you could just to pick neither of them. Yeah. Well, there's not much else they can pick though. I, I quite like. I really would have quite liked to see tense on him. Tentacles isn't bad. Yeah. Um, uh, and yeah, it's okay. The the Nurgle warriors have gone control. I think Bell said that 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 rookie one died, so I'm assuming that one had some kill skills. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, he's got no dirty player, which you never like to see on a on a. But he has got two rotters with five SPP, so maybe he'll have a dirty player for where, which whoever comes after Sergal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so even even if I didn't think it was actually true anyway, I would still pick Velahopia. Yes, but genuinely Velahopia, so it's all. Yeah. <laughs> right. We've got Run Dead. Versus... I'm assuming that's Seabros is uh, top undead because Andre was second undead, oh. and then I guess this is uh, the guy I don't know. Um, and he's given. Lerat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna call a team that. <laughs> right, run dead see, bro. He's got the. He's got the quite nice kit that I like there. The undead kit that I like. Um, never and he's got TV efficient mummies, daddy and mum. Wow, he's got crazy ghouls. Four, edge four, edge five. Blood yeah, edge five man. ghoul. Yeah. <laughs> But light powers, oh god, he's got a white called white power. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but powerful, powerful one white is powerful. The other one not so much. Um, it's very TV efficient. Very TV efficient. Apart from this stupid shit zombie. <laughs> yeah, as as an, an excellent record, twenty three three three. He was actually third on the leaderboard behind K Fool and Crucifer. Very good. Um, and get, maybe he throws a lot of passes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm going to have a quick look. Did this Ad 5 guy throw any passes? Did he even see? Uh, no, one pass. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> um, and he's playing Forgotten. Oh, the rats. the rats, I think they're not in. Because the AI opponent is a Skaven team. No, no, they are. Um, page 3, top right. Okay. Ah, yes. Lerat. And Bigadin. <laughs> this is it, Big Bigadin. He's been in chat, but I don't think he's ever been in playoffs before. <laughs> I didn't recognize his name. Someone could, uh, but I'm like, because I'm new, like newish now. I'm newish now. Um, some players come back from ages ago and surprise me. <laughs> uh, his team is unexciting. 1460. Yes. You'll get a wizard. And he's that. Uh, I would like to point out that he's gone pro on the Rat Ogre instead of claw or block, so uh, this team is trash. Yeah, yeah, I hate it. I hate it. Unexciting gutters as well. Hate it. Just, hate I don't care about the rest of the team. He rolled a double and he did not take claw or block, so <laughs> trash. <laughs> yeah, I think Undead should definitely win. But I mean, yeah, he just hasn't got the tools to win as he hasn't got good gutters, hasn't got good storm vermin. No. Uh, yeah, he's just, it looks like he's just shit loads of games behind. Like, he took strength on the gutter runners, but hasn't leveled it again, so. Yeah. Yeah. So that should be an easy win for the undeads. Um, yes. But, but then, and then, you know, they might, they might do something against the, uh, 
against the Nurgle, but I think that solidifies the Nurgle taking tackle because they're up either against gutter runners or ghouls in the next match. Yeah, and there's skinks yes, in this match, so I think for sure he's going to take tackle on both. Yeah, and probably think... double tackle there. And I think Valhopia gets through that, and then yeah. I hope Valhopia smashes K Fool's little no Amazons into bits. Yes, he may. So well another do. reason to take double tackle. Yeah, yeah. So he has he has to take double tackle. There's no choice for him to make. He just literally has to. He's looking just doing stick. that. Just do it now, Velhopia. Just go in right now and just take tackle twice. Yeah. Even if you roll doubles or plus strength, I think you just have just to go double tackle. tackle because it's skinks followed by gutters or ghouls followed by zons. <laughs> yeah. Or pro elves. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe pro elves. Yeah. There's yeah. there's a shitload of dodge in your quarter. Yeah, and you've got, and other than K Fool and his ridiculous inducement, uh, you've got a decent quarter bracket too. Yep, yep, yep. So I reckon, I reckon, Velahopia, the champ, to come through that uh, that quarter of the draw. And now we've got oh, Underworld Throws Project. This is Yak, isn't it? This is Yak. Yak, Yak and his trollless Underworld. <laughs> it took him a thousand games, but he finally qualified without the troll. Yeah. And uh, he's playing Top Lizards, uh, yes. who is the bread mask in game, but is T-Womble in, or Twomble as some other people call him, nice. T-Womble in uh, chat. T-Womble. So let's have a look at Yak, Yak's uh, underworld team. It will not surprise anyone after what we just said that he doesn't have a troll. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Troll is underworld. <laughs> um, yeah, you could, a... Yak, instead of inducing Glart, induce a troll with Claw. <laughs> <laughs> Join BB Esport Association. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> um, oh, sorry. Yes, yeah, not T Wumble. It's Tom Schnizzle. Sorry. No, I get right. mixed up. It's not T Wumble. Bad. It's Tom Schnizzle. Yes, Tom Schnizzle. Um, T Wumble was. Uh, you, are, you are correct, more Plobak. Dick Delaware is T Wumble. Thank you. That's it. Yeah. It's annoying when people don't. <laughs> have the same fucking name or even anything close to their names <laughs> um, yeah that's a, that's a really great uh, really great storm vermin there isn't it horns uh, yeah up. amazing but no tackle no tackle took the jump up and horns and it isn't ball. gonna get tackled because he's not getting into 176 yeah uh yeah, it's alright yeah, so playing, it? playing against lizard men with the he's not gonna be able to take stunties too well yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, this Skaven thrower's got a skill up. Fuck knows what he gives him. He's, uh, look at the goblin when he's got foul appearance. <laughs> yeah, I quite like foul appearance as the first skill for goblins because they just get punched, don't they? So, um, yeah, just, what, what, just hoping for the one in six. Yeah. He hasn't got foul appearance on the model, unfortunately. <laughs> right, uh, but yeah, I don't know. It's it's. There's not a lot to it, is there? It's a thousand TV. Let's have a look. See what he's yeah, playing. It's That's going to be more what? Uh, the lizard team. It's got a block tackle mighty. Two rookie saws. Dinosaurs for the match. He is dinosaurs for the match. Yeah, D drops him in TV as well. As well, though. but he's, Yak still gets like five hundred or something. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think this is a bad matchup for Yak. Really. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. It is Yak's at home. Which uh, Let me just double check that he's got it. He has got Nuffles Alter, so we will see either Glart, probably Glart, Claw against Lizards. Yeah. Yeah, that isn't that, isn't that bad, is it? That isn't... Or he could skip Glart, because he's got two claws of his own, and go for Skitter to stab Skinks. Yes, he could. He could. Especially as uh, it's Bugs... Stab is booked on Blood Bowl 2 and is overpowered versus Stunnies. <laughs> yep. So, um, and also you can blitz extra far with it. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think Stab's pretty good against it in this match. Um, yeah, I think I actually quite fancy Yak to win that one. There you go. Yeah, um, I, I, I can see that happening. Um, I, I think that Yak, in winning, will lose more players thanks to that. Uh, Mighty blow tackle Saurus, who um, who uh, Tom has fully admitted should not have taken movement up on. Right. <laughs> Took move up on a Saurus. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. It's just because it again. It's just the opportunity cost, isn't there? So many skills that are great for yeah. Saurus. Um, uh, right, like an Egyptian. That's got to be the Kemri. Yep. Versus the other dwarves, squat armors. I think is Sven. 
Yeah. Like an Egyptian. Here we are. The no, number one team on the list. Yep. And Castex. He has uh, got it's unremarkable. He's got fantastic Tomb Guardians there, really showing why Decay is such a loved skill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In the Blood Bowl community, fantastic games design. What you really need is your best players to die at double the normal rate. That's really, really clever, isn't it? That's a really <laughs> clever move by the Blood Bowl Rules Commission. Good for them. Yes. And when I say what good you want for is them, a skill that doesn't doesn't affect the game you're in whatsoever for your opponent, just wrecks your long term capabilities. Yes. And when I say good for them, I mean fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just make to be that fair, Kemri did need to be solidly nerfed with their high win percentage. Yeah, yeah. The reason they were nerfed is because they thought they had buffed fouling. With this rule set that completely nerfed fouling from the Rubik 4, <laughs> they, were that, they were that misguided they thought they had buffed fouling, so that's why they nerfed the hell out of uh, Tomb Guardians. Well, like long term, I mean, brutally, brutally nerfed Kemri anyway. Ridiculous. Anyway, um,. Yeah, that sucks, doesn't it? He's got two guard total. He's got a pom tackle blitzer, which is fine. But uh, yeah, it's bare bones, isn't it? Fifteen hundred. Talk TV. about the block frenzy skeleton. <laughs> yeah, that's random, isn't it? <laughs> Ready to pull a surprise on someone. Yeah. But nice. yeah, it's it's bare bones, as you said. Bare bones, a bare bones can we team? Hey, brilliant. That'd be a bones. good name for them. Sven. Sven's 14 30. So he's less TV, is Sven, but his team is way better because it's dwarves and he's got a million guard and a million mighty blow and two strength ups. Yeah. <laughs> it's already but better. But again, yeah, he's got a troll slayer, but it's, it's the shittest one on the, the team. However, it's got blodge, so yeah. he can happily stand next to the Tomb Guardians with no risk or less risk to itself. Yeah. Punch a Tomb Guardian and just stay there. Yep. Yeah. So I, I think he's, he should win easily, to be honest. Yes, Sven has once again got a good draw. Yeah. Uh, I should it should be mentioned at this point that uh, Garyon and Sven are cousins. No. Oh. Garyon's in charge of the draw. That's just going to leave that hanging there. <laughs> 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 no implication of anything other than that, but you know, family. <laughs> well, that's going to be um, that's going to be a horrible draw for Yak if he wins, and yes, probably a I... horrible draw for Tom Schnizzle if he wins because he'll probably take you know Soros injuries even if he wins. So then you know being down Soros is not going to be fun against Wolves because he won't be able to protect the Skinks and everything. So I reckon Sven will come out of that group of four for sure. Yes, uh, I think I do. I I agree. I think I think Sven moves on. From that, that that little quartet. Yes. Uh, always Elfin is Nooms Wood Elves versus Nightwinds Better Wood Elves. Oh, an elf off. A wood elf off. Yeah, very exciting. Uh, so where is Nooms? There he is, fifteen fifty. Always yes. Elfin. Uh, he does have Mighty Blow, but it's not combined with Tackle. Oh, he does, oh no, sorry. He has another one down there, which is combined with Tackle. Yeah. There's two Mighty Blow on his dancers. Yeah. <laughs> A Wood Elf team with three Mighty Blow is pretty decent. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's got, a, he's got an annoyance catcher, as I call him. Yeah. Just a pain in the ass catcher. Uh, he has got an armor-busted tree, but that's probably not going to worry Nightwing. Like, no, I'm not going to please Nightwind. Ooh, I can hit an armor nine now. Yeah, this is not. I don't. I don't like this team very much. Let's have a look. No, it's a bit. It's a bit meh. It's only fifteen fifty to be fit. Well, it's it's sixteen twenties down a man, yeah. but it's still low. You know, he only has strip on one and tackle wrestle on the other. So I guess you just have to choose. Yeah, and but to be fair, Nightwind's team isn't too isn't too clever either, really. No, Nightwind's team is not as good as his previous ones, but it is uh, it's probably slightly better. He's also got an armor-busted tree, man. Yeah. <laughs> Battle of the armor-busted trees. Incredible. Uh, but yes, he, he has a proper ball sacker. Yeah. Uh, so that's the uh, that's probably going to make a difference there. Hang on, I didn't check if Nooms had given his thrower shoe hands. 
He has got the he has got the ultimate ball sack there, but he's lacking uh, mighty blow, yes. isn't he? Nooms does have sure hands, but nothing else on the thrower, no block. Yeah. So whereas, um, I can't. There's no sure hands on Nightwind's team. Yeah. So may may I make might make a game of it, especially as Nooms will have a wizard. I think. Yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of dice rolled in this game. Wait, Both. seventeen eighty. Oh, maybe you want to. No, he'll have a wizard. Seventeen eighty. And he's 1620. Yeah, yeah. 160. So both teams, 11 players, you know, little, little bit of mighty blow, little bit of tackle. Um, loads of dice to be rolled. Wizard, is, I think it's just whoever luckiest is probably going to win this, unless one of them, like, you know, plays like ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nightwind does done the thing. He's got two movement nine again, so he will do that. He will have a better one turn than the other guy, but. Yep. Uh, yeah, Wizard can make the difference there. Yeah, it's a really hard one to call, I think. Yeah, Nooms has Mighty Blow and Tackle, and yep. uh, Nightwind does nothing. So you could just defeat him by attrition. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot uh, of dice to be rolled. That, that's my, my uh, pick for a very tight game of the first round, I think. Yeah, as tight as Yak's ass. <laughs> as tight as Yak's ass. I think up until now, actually, uh, your game was probably yes. my pick for closest one. Probably, yeah. Uh, probably. But I think now that one's going to be even closer. Yeah. And then the last game... That is, uh, I don't know who Rotten Razor Claws is, but the team from the north is Arcanes Norse. Right. And, uh, yeah, Rotten Razor Claws is first. Who the fuck is that? I've forgotten. I don't know. Is this, is this his actual team? Is this 1610 Skaven? Is this, is this the team that's qualified, or is it just a random one? No. Um, hang on. Let's, uh, I'll go back out and find it. Champions Ladder 23. <laughs> It is yes going on YouTube, yes. Ah, it's Wolf Bark. Oh, it's not. Uh, I guess yeah, it's not. I don't know who it is. Oh, it's Wolf Bark's team, right? Oh, of course it is. Yeah. Oh, it's Wolf Bark's terrible chaffs. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if you want to just look at my screen, I've got them up. I've got. I've got a search. Um. Yeah, it's Wolf Bark's chaffs, who's uh, only killer died like a game before the end oh wow why can't I find it oh is it I'm in champions cup 23 rather than yeah, yeah, 23 yeah. oh dear me flip me guys however he is playing Norse so it's still it's still a toss up this game right okay here they are 1650 horrible kit I hate the kit that he's chosen <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I hit that one too. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> four guard, three mighty. Edge four Uranus. <laughs> He's got a team called Uranus. Do you think he made this <laughs> this team theme just so he could have Uranus? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> He's also the ball carrier, so he's going to be ball ball <laughs> balls in Uranus's hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, and he's got some. Yeah, it's, this is a really poor Chove team, yeah, to be fair. Right. Yeah. Uh, it, I mean, it, it looks like it's being developed, but sadly, it, it had been developed and had two Chofs die. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but he is playing against Norse, who will probably just shitlord dice him to death. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Arcane's in chat, so he's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah. Team Other than that, it was a decent. It was a decent uh, chaff team. It just uh, those two dead chaffs have uh, massively reduced its <laughs> ability to not be shit. Yeah. Uh, where is Arcane's Norse team? I've got to go back to the thing now. There it is. Yeah. Right. He's got a pommer. But this is an unexciting... There's a lot of unexciting teams have qualified, really. Yeah, look at his uh, Yeti with Blodge. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that, that, that mighty blow at the end was also a double. And because he wasn't going to play, yet he was in chat when he rolled the double. Uh, so he could have had tackle, but he wasn't going to play enough to get mighty blow. So I told him to take mighty blow. Yeah, yeah, that's Blodge, fair Blodge mighty blow. Sadly, he's rolled into chaffs, so the Blodge part is not going to matter much. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think as bad as as bad as Wolfbark's team is, I think he's favoured there. Yeah, 
Yeah, but at, at least it's just favoured and not just, oh, well, this is, you got Norse. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Wolfbox team is bad enough that this is a fight. Yeah. Yeah. And and then, to be fair, whoever wins out, this is a really hard bracket to call. Either of those could win. Either of the elves could win. Um, and then whoever comes out of that is, you know, Sven is going to be pretty happy about playing, I think. So I, I, I think I'm going to pick Sven to win that quarter. I uh, believe so too as well. So I think we will see Sven versus Velahopia. Who will then probably win Velahopia? And then we'll probably beat uh, one of us. Yes, it'll probably be <laughs> the of rematch of the final. Ourselves. Rematch so of last season's gonna, final. Velahopia is going to back to back it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be quite happy with that a rematch of the final. <laughs> if um if Velahopia plays thirty games with his fan favourite this season and wins again, then he can go into season twenty five with two fan favourites. Because yeah, he could, couldn't he? <laughs> um, but no, I think I think I've obviously got a good chance not to go out in the first round, so. Been a bit presumptuous there. Um, I think, I think Christopher's got a good chance, a real good chance because there's It'll, a chance. You know, because we've said this now, like Andre will re dice you back, and <laughs> I will just get like four players deleted on turn one against goblins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna happen now, isn't it? Yeah. Like, <laughs> the fanatic, both trolls and Ripper, will all remove a beast man on turn one. <laughs> I think more realistic is is to favour Christopher getting through because his team is really good, and uh, you know the, your team is a bit crap, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, but I I, I think more realistic uh, that yeah, Christopher probably beats you, and then if if he if he runs into me, if I'm lucky enough to get that far, he probably beats me too. Even yeah, if it, even if the... it's just because I instantly auto tilt because I'm playing Christopher. <laughs> I've, but it's I've just your team so one dimensional, isn't it? The it's, miserable it's, fuck by him. It's incredibly killy, but um, if it doesn't kill, it's gonna it's gonna feel really shit. And it, it it probably has got the best chance against Christopher because it has got the auto win condition of just I'm, killing. I'm him. not chalks, well, I hope you are. I'm chaos. So, yeah, interesting. I think that'll be an interesting semi if it gets there. But you know, there's a lot of blood ball to be played, a lot of dice to be rolled. And uh, that's it, right? So um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.